Hi, it's Louise of Physio here. Today I'm going to give you a quick and easy ab workout using no equipment. Now over on my Instagram, I help people with getting like bendy and stronger. Um, so helping people to move better. In my everyday life, I'm a physiotherapist, so I'm always helping people to move better. At the moment with this coronavirus situation, I just want to help people to move, okay? I need it as well, so follow along with me. You can do either as many reps as I do, or do more, or do what I do as a set, and then you can do multiple sets of that. Enjoy! So laying on your back first, this is my favorite abdominal exercise. Squeeze the legs together, hands underneath your head, and just come up and do a crunch. So it's a 10 second hold, trying to keep your lower back flat down onto the floor. So you wanna fire up all this tissue through the front line. After 10 seconds, a well-deserved rest. Okay, and then we'll take the crunch again, but twist to the side. So we're holding that same position, pushing the lower back down onto the ground squeezing the legs together and trying to get this shoulder blade off the floor, nice and shaky. And then repeat that to the other side. So crunch up and twist over to the other side. So hitting the front lines and our spiral lines here or like your six packs and obliques. Ugh, all the party muscles. Okay, then I like to do a what I call a reverse crunch. So bend your knees up in the air. I want you to try and peel your tailbone off the floor and then slowly lower it back down. Okay, so peel the tailbone off the floor, slowly lower back down. Try to keep your head on the ground and try to relax your neck, okay? No veins, try not to hold the breath. Try not to pop an eyeball out. You're just trying to lift your tailbone off the floor with control. So about six to ten of those. Oh, they burn. Okay, and then we'll do the crunch with some toe taps. So we're going to lift the head up, come into this crunch position, and then we're going to reach the toes down to the end of the mat. And the idea here is to keep your back really still and under control. So pelvis staying still, lower back and rib cage staying still. As you go through 10, maybe even 20 toe taps. Ooh, I'm feeling burn. I need a rest. <laughs> and yes, there are stains on my shorts, but it's isolation life and I don't really care. Okay, so then we'll try our harder version of that last one. It's a crunch with leg extension. So now I'm going to reach the leg out and back. So maintaining that same lower back and pelvic control like the last one, but with leg extension. So it's a longer lever here. It's a little bit more challenging than the last one. If this is too challenging, just go back to the toe taps. Whew. So maybe 10, maybe 20 of those. My arms are burning. I hope yours are too. Then we'll take it a little bit further. We're going to do some lift and lower with the legs. So place your hands down onto the floor. <clears throat> squeeze the legs together. Try and keep your back flat on the floor and then lower the legs down towards the ground, keeping the back under control and then lifting back up. Only go as low as you can control the back. So don't sacrifice the quality of the movement just to lower down further. This is a long lever on your back. And you want to make sure that you don't end up needing a physio on Monday. <sighs> Whew. Again, six to ten could be plenty of those. Then I like to combine that with a crunch. So it's like a slow V up. So the legs are out long and straight. Arms are up over the head. You're going to press the lower back down, lift the chest and thighs at the same time to come up to the V-shape and then slowly control that back down to the floor. So up slowly to the V-shape. I missed that one. I clearly can't talk and demonstrate that one at the same time. So 
maybe four, maybe ten of those. <clears throat> That's step one. As many sets as you like. That's plenty for me. 